In this video, I'm going to go over some of the coordinates questions that might crop up in this year's 2017 SATS paper. So, these have all been taken from previous SATS tests, so they might be similar, but these exact questions won't appear. In this question, we've got two triangles, A and B, and they've been reflected in the x-axis. I'm just going to take a minute to underline some of the key information. Reflection of triangle A in the x-axis. Two of the new vertices of triangle B are 10 minus 10. So I'm going to pop that one in. 10 minus 10 there. And I can see that because that's 10, 10, that's going to be 10 minus 10. And then the second one was 20 minus 30. So again, if I look at the numbers, if that one's 20 on the x-axis, it's going to be positive 30 on the y-axis. Then if I draw a straight line down here, everything along that line is going to equal 20 on the x-axis. So I can see that that one is going to be 20 minus 30 because of the reflection, it's the same distance away from the x-axis. So there, that's 30 squares, 30 points away from the, the x-axis. So here it's going to be 30 points away from the x-axis in the negative numbers. So finally I need to look at this one to find the unknown coordinate. So if I draw my line down again, I can see on the x-axis every point along that line is going to be minus 10. So I know the first coordinate straight away is minus 10. And if I follow the pattern, that's 30, that's minus 30, that's 10, that's minus 10, that's 40. So the next one is going to be minus 40. Done. Now, in question two, we've got a pentagon. It's an irregular pentagon because the length of the sides are different, the length of the angles are different, but it's definitely a pentagon. One, two, three, four, five sides. Okay, it's got a line of symmetry down the middle. That's the line of symmetry there. So we're looking for the coordinates of point C. Now, first of all, I'm going to have a look at point A because I know that from point A to the mirror line it's the same distance as point C to the mirror line because it says it's symmetrical. So if we look along the x-axis, that line, the x-coordinate is 7. So I can start to put in numbers on the x-axis now. I know that's 7, I know that's 2, and that's 12. And then if I draw a straight line down here, parallel to that mirror line, then I can see that the x coordinate there is going to be 4. So to jump up the number line there, I'm going to add 3. So if I know that the gap there is plus 3, then the gap here is plus 3 as well. And because that's 7, then the x coordinate there is going to have to be 10. And because I know that the y coordinate here is 9, my coordinates are going to be 10, 9. Because we take the 10 from here on the x-axis and the 9 from here on the y-axis. So in this question, again I'm going to underline or circle keywords. I'm going to underline two identical squares or the word we were using in class is that they are congruent and I know that point A is 10, 10. So just like I've done before, I'm going to draw lines on the coordinates grid so that I can see that if that is an x coordinate of 10, that number must be 10 there. So C must have a coordinate in the x axis of 10. B 
if I go over that way, then we've got the y coordinate this time of 10. So I can see because it's a square, because all the sides of the square are the same length, that's 10 and that's 10. So I can put 10 there. Now because I know that from there to there is 10, I know that from there to there is also 10 because they're the same size square, so I can put 20 here. And then I've got all my numbers in place, so I can see that B is going to be 0, 10. Pop that in. And C is going to be 10, 20. Pop that one in there. Okay, again, underlining things, triangle is a reflection of the white triangle and the mirror line. Now the mirror line here is in the middle, it's not sitting on an axis, so we're going to need to work out what the coordinate for the mirror line is going to be. So if I look along the x-axis, I've got 1, 3, 5, 3 and 11, 3. Now I know that both of those triangles are the same size, so if I look here, I can see that that is going to be 1 on the x-axis and down there, because that's 5 and that's 5, I can see that that is going to be 5 on the x-axis as well. Now, I've got to work out the coordinates for A and B. One of the coordinates for each one is really easy. So if I draw a line across there and join up with the y-axis, because I can see that that's 9 on the y-axis, I can see that that is going to the A coordinate, the y coordinate for letter A is going to be 9. Same principle with B. If I draw a line across there, the y coordinate there is 3, the y coordinate there is 3, and the y coordinate there is 3, so the y coordinate there has to be 3, so that we can spot that 3 as a y coordinate for part B. So the next bit is to work out the length of this side here. Now because that's 1 and that's 5, I know that's got a length of 4. So because that's 11, that's got a length of 4, which means that 11 plus 4 is 15. So now I can see that that is going to be 15, 3. And when I go down there, another one that I can pick up easily is 11, 9. So here we've got a rectangle called A, B, C, D, and it's drawn on the coordinate axes. And the sides of the rectangle are parallel to the axes. So we've got to find the coordinates for point D and point E. So just like we've done before, I'm going to highlight certain bits of information that are really useful. Here we've got a Y coordinate of minus four, which means that every point along that line, the Y coordinate is going to be minus four. So the y coordinate for D is minus 4. With point A here, the x coordinate is minus 10. So every point along that line, the x coordinate has to be minus 10. Now with E, this is a little more straightforward because it sits on the y axis. So I can see that the y coordinate is going to be 0 because it's sitting on that y-axis. The x-coordinate, sorry, is going to be zero because it's sitting on the axis. And then we look at the y-coordinates, how far up the y-axis it's gone, and we can see that we've got eight on the y-axis there to get that one. Easy peasy.